The 16-year-old was innocently shot dead as she went to buy a pizza in East London. Marcel Adai was 18 years old and a member of an East London gang called the Hoxton Boy. Hey, it's your fucking ex on your block, bitch. Yeah, you gotta let him know. Are you born this day or not, bro? I don't do it for the net. I pull up in black and leave ops red. Wet that. He tried run and got chef. Don't do legs. I'll chop off your legs. Now, the London borough of Hackney was actually ranked among the top five most dangerous London boroughs as of a 2023 crime and safety report. In this report, the overall crime rate in Hackney was recorded at 135 crimes per 1,000 people. This statistic then comparing poorly in comparison to London's crime rate of 105 crimes per 1,000 people. The crime rate in Hackney then being a 29% increase in comparison to London as a whole. As of 2024, the population of Hackney was estimated to have been around 260,000 residents currently living in and around the London borough of Hackney. What a lot of the people currently living in and around Hackney are unaware of, however, is the fact that a deadly gang war has been playing out within the streets for over a decade, resulting in stabbings, shootings and murders occurring in the streets of Hackney. This being the bloody gang war between Hoxton or the Hoxton boys and the Fellows Court Gang. Due to how heated this rivalry got, other gangs became involved, examples being EC1 one from Islington and ZT from London Fields, although I'll speak about this later on in this video. Before I get into this video, however, I'll explain the crews involved in the beef and how they have come to rival one another. Before this video begins, I have created a Patreon for all uncensored content. The video you are currently watching has been edited to fit with YouTube's guidelines. This includes the censorship of CCTV and other content. If you would like to see uncut sections of my videos, however, feel free to head over to my Patreon, where you can see the raw versions of my videos for just £1.50 a month, equating to one now, the Hoxton Boys are a large street gang based around the Hoxton area of Hackney. The gang is mainly based around the Arden Estate, the Wenlock Barn Estate, and the Colville Estate, all within the N1 postcode. The Hoxton Boys are oftentimes referred to as HOX, although the gang also went by YHB, which is believed to have stood for Young Hoxton Bosses, as well as Gully, or Gully Side. The original Hoxton Boys gang identifies with the color black, although members have been seen flagging colors like orange. The Hoxton Boys gang originated from a larger Hackney gang known as L-O-M, this standing for love over money, amongst other things like love of money. It's believed that L-O-M is one of London's oldest gangs, supposedly originating in the 1980s. It's rumored that this L-O-M gang included soldiers of Shakespeare, Hoxton, Fellows Court, and Hagerston, with Hoxton and Fellows Court even being heavily linked up at one point. This L-O-M gang was known to make serious money in the streets and often carried out armed robberies. These armed robberies were often directed towards London Fields members, resulting in the Z-T and Hoxton beef that has continued today. The current generation of Hoxton members are closely allied with Holly Street, Essex Road, and Pembury, whilst they have come to rival nearby EC1, London Fields, and finally Fellows Court, which is the subject of this video, with Hoxton even sharing a close affiliation with Fellows before the rivalry would kick off. Prominent members of the Hoxton boys include Lil Slips, Double R, S Sav, Slips, and Dottie. Fellows Court, or FFR, which stands for Forever Fellows Riders, is a street gang located around the Fellows Court estate in the area of Hagerston, E2. The younger generation of Fellows Court actually goes by the name AFD, this being an acronym for Anything for Doe. Originally, both Fellows Court and the Hoxton Boys would be closely affiliated, focusing most of the beef toward the rival, London Fields Gang. Although in the early 2010s, both Fellows Court and the Hoxton Boys began to rival one another. Prominent members of Fellows Court, or AFD, include Young Dubsy, Dubsy, and Alpo. Now, you might be wondering how two street gangs based only streets away from one another went from once being affiliated with one another to being in a deadly gang war that has then subsequently resulted in murders, shootings, and stabbings taking place in the streets of Hackney. Now, originally, both the Hoxton Boys Gang and Fellows Court Gang would be closely aligned with each other. However, it's believed that around 2014, a Fellows Court older had a falling out with a Hoxton older over a drug line. Following this, things between members escalated after a Hoxton older punched up the baby mum of a Fellows Court older, leading to members in both gangs having to pick a side, this being the situation that eventually led to the Fellows Court and Hoxton boys' beef. However, it is known that both Fellows and Hoxton shared a rivalry with London Fields in the years prior to their fallout, this getting extremely deadly following a sequence of events that subsequently led to a 16-year-old girl's death. On the 13th of April 2010, Dubsy from the Fellows Court crew traveled from his block onto rival London Fields territory, in which he allegedly noticed the rival ZT London Fields member known as Asco. It's believed that the Fellows Court member then retrieved a knife, stabbing Asco in the face before then fleeing the scene. Asco was rushed to hospital, but luckily went on to survive the attack, making a swift recovery days later. Only a day following this stabbing, on the 14th of April 2010, members of London Fields were ordered with killing the Fellows Court members responsible for the Asco stab. 
stabbing. In a moment captured on CCTV, the London Fields members can be seen noticing a group of Hoxton boys and fellows court members, both groups standing in Hoxton chicken and pizza. The London Fields members then began to shoot randomly into the shop, hitting an innocent 16-year-old girl called Agnes, who was friends with both Hoxton members and fellows members. She was hit in the neck. Moments later, Agnes was rushed to hospital, but 36 hours later, on the 15th of April, 2010, 16-year-old Agnes was sadly pronounced dead. Only weeks following this brazen murder, two London Fields members were arrested, and in the end, they were both given life with a minimum of 32 years. Rest in peace. Following this, members from both Hoxton and Fellows began to make music, example being Dubsy from Fellows Court, releasing the track titled Pagan in 2014, as well as Young Tallest releasing the song Duck and Dive exactly one month later, on the 27th of April, 2014, with it even being known that Lil Slips from Hoxton can be seen within the music video, which is wild as Lil Slips was only around 11 at the time. Now, following the murder of Agnes and the releases of these songs, in 2014, the conflict between the Hoxton boys and the Fellows Court gang would begin. As I discussed before, the feud between Fellows and Hoxton began following a fight between a Hoxton older and a fellow court member's baby mum. Well, it's rumored that the same day that this fight occurred, members of the Hoxton boys traveled around the Fellows Court estate looking for members, and on the 5th of December, 2014, at around 11 p.m., the Hoxton members noticed 15-year-old Jojo, who was a member of Fellows Court. It's rumored he was recently recruited into the gang. Anyways, the Hoxton members stabbed 15-year-old Jojo multiple times in the abdomen, fleeing the scene shortly after the attack. Jojo was rushed to hospital minutes later, but was pronounced dead the day following the fatal stabbing. Now, originally two members of the Hoxton boys, being Bullethead and Jungle, were arrested. However, following a full trial, both were acquitted of murder and were let free. Rest in peace, Jojo. It's rumored that a member of Fellows Court was standing near Jojo when he was stabbed, this being R.O., who later switched to the 51st gang from Camden. You may have heard of R.O. as often shouts him out, as well as suspect from AGB often disrespecting him. In the months following this murder, the beef between Fellows Court and Hoxton began to really get active, with it becoming normal to read about shootings and stabbings in the news. One of these, however, was an extremely shocking and brutal stabbing that was carried out by Fellows Court gang members, this targeting a 12-year-old Hoxton boys member, this 12-year-old being the popular Hoxton rapper Lil Slips, who went on to create UK drill bangers in the years following this brutal attack. On the 23rd of June, 2015, 12-year-old Lil Slips, or El Sav from Hoxton, would be buying food from a chicken and pizza shop in Hoxton, the same one in fact, that 16-year-old Agnes was shot at years prior. Anyways, on his way home from the food shop, he was noticed by a group of Fellows Court gang members, who were camping outside of his house. A fight then ensued in which Lil Slips was stabbed eight times, with him even sustaining wounds to the chest. The rivals fled shortly after the stabbing, with neighbors rushing to Lil Slips' aid, phoning police and emergency services. Lil Slips was rushed to a hospital in central London, in which his wounds were assessed, originally being serious but not life-threatening. Luckily, Lil Slips survived the attack, with an image even showing him during his recovery. It's even believed he moved to Basildon in which he repped the set 268 before eventually moving back. It's rumored that around half an hour following this stabbing, a fellow's court member was stabbed in the hand and leg, also surviving. Hoxton members even then allegedly shot two rival fellow's court members in the months after, both shootings luckily proving to be non-life-threatening. Sadly, however, only a few months following these stabbings and shootings, in September 2000, 2015, a member of the Hoxton boys would be stabbed to death by rival Fellows Court gang members, resulting in a lot of the membership of the Fellows Court gang being arrested and sentenced as a result of this case. This meant that the younger generation began to take over. On the 4th of September 2015, a group of rival Fellows Court members would travel from their block onto the rival Hoxton estate in three cars. Upon arriving on one of Hoxton's blocks, the group noticed 17-year-old Marcella Dye, or Mark, who was with friends. It was thought that Mark was a member of the Hoxton boys' gang. A fight ensued between the members. Mark began to run however he tripped and fell, this being when the rivals caught up and launched a vicious attack on Mark, in which he was stabbed 14 times, kicked and punched whilst on the ground, sadly being pronounced dead moments later. The attackers then fled after the attack. However, following a murder investigation, four members of the Fellows Court gang were arrested and charged. After a long murder trial, three of the four members were given a life sentence with a minimum of 25 years, whilst the fourth man was sentenced to life with a minimum of 22 years. Three other men were acquitted of murder. Rest in peace, Mark, or Marcella Dye. The death of Mark would actually take the most prominent members of Fellows Court off the streets, resulting in the younger generation taking over, this being known as AFD, or Anything for Doe, also resulting in Hoxton being 
beginning to have a rivalry with nearby EC1 from Islington. It's believed that EC1 and Hoxton started beefing after an EC1 member was tired of working for a Hoxton member, then going on to stab the Hoxton member. This Hoxton member would get back, however, allegedly shooting up the house of the EC1 member, thus causing the rivalry between EC1 and Hoxton. Now, it's not known what happened between the gangs following the death of Marcella Dai, with it being believed that a fellow's court member was stabbed multiple times in 2018, luckily going on to make a recovery. In 2018, the UK drill scene would see the first instances of members involved making UK drill songs, one of these being Best of Both, which was later taken down by police. Although the gang was quite inconsistent, they would make waves in the UK drill scene in 2020 and 2021, releasing real UK drill anthems. Until then, however, the war in the streets was continuing, and in May 2019, another person was killed. On the 1st of May 2019, 15-year-old Dots, who was thought to have been a member of the Red Pitch Gang, which rivaled Hoxton, would be standing with friends near a Hackney Park. When the group was noticed by four members from the Hoxton boys, Dots began to run through the Hackney Park and attempt to flee. One of the defendants then chased after one of Dots' friends, who was stabbed in the back. Meanwhile, the three youths stabbed Dots nine times before fleeing. Dots was able to walk a few feet before he collapsed to the ground, in which police and emergency services arrived on the scene, transporting Dots to hospital where he was pronounced dead 45 Five minutes later, a murder investigation was launched following this murder, with all four of the alleged Hoxton members being arrested. This included Lil C, Levels, Double R, and T-Splash. Sadly, however, Levels would die 20 days after being arrested, allegedly due to natural causes. In the end, however, a 16-year-old was jailed for 17 years, whilst two other teenagers were jailed for 12 years. Rest in peace, Dots, and Levels. Following this murder, members of the Hoxton boys began to really show their potential in the UK drill scene, example being Lil Slips and Slips who dropped the track titled Hoxton Brothers in April 2020, this being one of the first songs that shone a spotlight on Lil Slips as well as Slips. This was followed by S. Sav's release LOL in May 2020, this currently sitting on 250,000 views. This music video was followed up by a Holly Street and Hoxton linkup, featuring the rappers Hitman, DA, and LS, or Lil Slips from Hoxton. This was titled Long Run. This song did well for the rappers. Long Run really showed the potential Lil Slips had, with him later dropping one more in March 2020. 21, which was a song that I could never not hear in a Drilla SE intro, as well as Spilling in July 2021. Both of these songs, gaining hundreds of thousands of views. Hoxton weren't the only crew making noise in the UK drill scene, however. A rapper hailing from the EC1 gang, known as Killian, was also dropping songs. Although he wouldn't really release in 2021 and 2022, as he was caught lacking by Hoxton members in 2021, this entire incident being recorded and uploaded onto YouTube, in which it has gained thousands of views. In 2022, two members of the fellow court gang would be stabbed, both going on to survive. Whilst it's not known the exact details about this, it is a situation that's often referenced by Hoxton members. In September 2022, however, Hackney's gang unit would spot two 16-year-olds on Hoxton Street, N1. The officers tried to stop the two youths. However, they took off running, and what ensued was a chase on foot. Both males were arrested, however, and were found in possession of a Glock 19. One of the contained was in fact Sons from Hoxton, who was later given five and a half years for the incident. Now, it's not known what happened in 2023. What is known is that in February 2024, a member of Fellows Court would supposedly kill a rival Holly Street member known as Spacho. On the 19th of February 2024 at around 11 p.m., 17-year-old Spacho was stabbed multiple times on Hackney Road near the junction of Kremer Street. Police and emergency services arrived on the scene. However, sadly, he was pronounced dead minutes later, with a murder investigation being launched. Around a week following the stabbing, a 17-year-old was arrested for the murder, with it being rumored that the 17-year-old was YD from Fellows Court, although we won't really know until a full trial has taken place. Rest in peace, Spacho. As of most recently, Lil Slips was released from prison and has already released a preview to an upcoming track. This sounding seriously cold, I do believe that he has a chance to make it out of the streets, as realistically if the war in Hackney has proven anything. This road life only ever leads to jail or death, and rarely anything positive. Now, since this incident, no other incidents have really occurred within the streets, but I hope that all of the members involved in this rivalry can focus on music instead of the gang life, as realistically this gang life only ever leads to jail or death, and never anything positive. These people may appear to be your friends now, but when you're riding decades for these people, they will move on in their life and forget about you. So realistically, the road life is never worth it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.